Let's go take a look at some boats. You don't want to hear me talk. Come on back. So this is the, uh, the Hunt 32 Center Council. Uh, this was produced in Portsmouth, Rhode Island uh, by the Hunt Factory, uh, also located at the Hinkley Corporate Office. And uh, this boat was built uh, last year and delivered August of 2020 to the new owner here in Vermillion. Uh, so this boat is currently owned by somebody, but uh, it's beautifully outfitted uh, with, with some teak, uh, teak decking and teak accents and things like that. It's just absolutely stunning and beautiful. And we've got it all lit up, so come on aboard, let's take a look. This boat is, uh, this boat and also the 32s, are, this boat specifically is powered with 2300 Mercury V8 outboards uh, with, uh, with some very impressive low end torque. This boat does about 50 knots uh, wide open and very comfortable and very dry. Uh, as you probably saw when we were down looking at the hull, the nice flare uh, that the Ray Hunt design has. Uh, keeps water away from everybody and keeps everybody on the boat dry. And uh, this is a great boat. Come on up and take a look at the platform. The nice thing about hunt yachts is you have the capabilities of, of customizing the boat, uh, semi-customizing the boat to, uh, to fit your needs. Uh, they have many different options to choose from, whether you want teak accents, varnished, unvarnished, things like that. You have other accents, uh, like a serving bar back here that can also be converted into a bait station um, that opens up. You've got a nice sink that opens, cup holders on either side, plenty of storage down below. Cabinets, drawers for either baking tackle or just for your cocktails and things like that. Uh, if you want to use it as a serving bar, this also comes with the uh, the back seat. It's a full back seat with a with a uh, with an optional jumper seat in the back. So this opens up. This opens up and folds away, so you can either have it open or closed for fishing or open for guests. There's also another jump seat that sits right here as well to make it a full bench seat. And obviously you walk through the transom, uh, the transom door. Uh, got more storage back here as well. It can be used as a cooler or you can have it plumbed with a live well and things like that. In one direction. Um, walking up to the helm, we've got a really nice teak dash helm. Um, Obviously done extremely well by Hunt and uh, craftsmen that are building these boats are just incredible and their attention to detail is, is phenomenal. Nice teak steering wheel, um, your twin gimbals obviously. The, uh, the owner of this boat decided not to get electronics at the factory and, and install the electronics that he wants. Um, so he's got those and we'll be installing those over the winter. Uh, this boat also has the option of joystick and or bow thruster. Uh, we have the, the bow thruster on this one. Mercury Verado um, joystick too. Yeah, and the Verado joystick as, a, as the other option. So, which is where you know the Verado joystick would go here, or you can get these outfitted with the Yamahas as well. Nice bolsters that go up and down on the helm seat to make it easy and, and comfortable for your your companions to either sit while they're while you're driving or to pull them up, and you can drive it like a normal medium post. The sightline and visibility is incredible. We also got a little cup holder here. It folds down, so you're not dealing with anything on the side of on the side of the, of the helm seats. Um, plenty of storage down below, more drawers for your uh, whatever you need, binoculars, things like that. Um, this owner obviously went with the teak decking as well. This is solid teak, which is another option, uh, or the faux teak, which is uh, which obviously keeps its color and um, pretty easy to maintain. Oops, sorry. Walking up forward, this, uh, the nice thing about this boat too is you have plenty of, plenty of seating for entertaining. Uh, full wraparound seating with the walk around on the other side uh, down the gunnel. There's a pedestal table that goes here as well. You can get that either in uh, varnished teak or you can get it in more of a corium countertop to match the rest of the boat. 
one of the fun features about this book too is for like evening cocktails and things like that, we have some, some different lighting options that can, can be hidden away and, um, and then popped up when you're ready to use them. Uh, plenty of deck storage in here as well with a, with a couple drains. You've got storage underneath all the seats as well. So you can put all the, uh, the uh, canvas or your, or your life jackets and things like that. This one's also equipped with a windlass. It's in this forward compartment right here. Nice tucked away. You can just see, you can just tell by the craftsmanship that you know everything is finished on the inside, no rough edges, um, and just nice and clean and, and just well thought out. All the pleats recess as well, both on the deck and, and also your chalks recess as well. Nice solid windshield, keeps you dry and uh, keeps you out of the wind as well, um, but also gives you that good feel of being outside. Nice solid hardtop. This is all one piece, this hardtop, separate in its own mold, um, and then they, they bring it together with the, with all, you know, the, framing, the framing system. Going down into the, uh, the council area. Just like here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> there we go. So I'm six foot four. So uh, in a 32 foot center console, I'm able to stand up, not completely straight, but uh, straight enough where I can come down here and, and have access to the full head that also has a shower. Um, you can also use it as a shower from the sink here. Um, nice, easy head to get into. <laughs> With plenty of storage. In here There's as well. Carl. <laughs> How you doing? Um, the the forward cabin area or the the the, uh, the space up forward, it's uh, it's pretty cramped for two people, obviously. But if you're over at the islands for a night or something like that and need to need to crash for an evening, it's easy to do so. This also has the option on this side uh, for a microwave instead of a cabinet right here. This could be the uh, you could have a microwave here. It also has a nice deep cooler. Here as well. Just real easy and functional to get around to. All right. There's plenty more features that we can go through with you, um, but I would say feel free to step stop on down, take a closer look at the Hunt 32, and uh, we'll head on over.